So here's my breakfast this morning, toast with avocado and tomatoes and some scrambled eggs and coffee of course. Going to cafe in with my mom to get some coffee, we just shot some pictures for a brand. Alright, so look on the milk like It's so good here. Because they actually use almond milk, not to syrup. Guys, I just left my apartment um, having my almond milk latte, which is my favorite coffee at the moment, has been for like half a year now. And I just left my apartment. We popped to have a look with my mom and you guys. The men are working there in the kitchen, so I didn't film anything because there are like five of them. It's insanely beautiful. I couldn't even have dreamed of a kitchen this beautiful. Like, it's my dream kitchen. I cannot tell you how happy I am and how, you know, I'm filled with excitement and joy looking at this kitchen. Well, they will have to do only one thing tomorrow morning and it will be done. I just came down to my studio. Actually, I, I don't think I started the vlog properly. Uh, today is, what day is it? 19. So welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. I was super busy in the morning, <laughs> had a lot of things going on, so many calls to make, emails to answer, went uh, over to Linda's to borrow this jacket. It's actually, we kind of shared this jacket, but I needed it for pictures today. Dyed my roots, my mom dyed it for me, um, took a shower, got ready. Yeah, so it was a little bit of a hectic morning, that's why I didn't even say hi to you guys. So now I'm here in my super messy uh, studio full of stuff and I brought some things with me that I need to photograph, some products. Um, I'll try to take some pictures here, although it is way too dark, there's no natural light going on. But we'll see how that works. Um, my mom showed pictures of me that I told you I needed for a brand. Uh, working with a brand for um, this week, so it was a very late notice, so I had only today to do it. By the way, my whole outfit is from Zaful, that's exactly what I wore in last Vlogmas. And this teddy coat is from Zaful as well, as I said. My ducks, my same bag, still drinking my coffee. Let's open this box, I don't really know what's inside. So, I don't really know who is the sender and what it is. Oh, okay, I know now. Wow, look at that. Sparkly gold paper and black ribbons. And um, the brand is called Lore. So, um, oh. they said we want to congratulate you the upcoming housewarming and we really hope that your morning coffee will be special and super delicious um, with the aroma of this French Lach coffee and um, the smell will fill the house. Uh, happy holidays, Lach. So this is a French coffee brand and this is the coffee that I usually buy when I'm in Paris 
and um, they actually recently came to Lithuania and I've already tried their coffee which is very good by the way because I mentioned that I want to get an espresso machine for my new home they said that they would send me capsules because they actually make also make capsules for an espresso machine which I think is amazing because you can get capsules from Nespresso and then also from this brand so the variety is huge and I think these ones are a little more affordable than Nespresso capsules so they sent me a bunch to try out um, and by the way uh, some of you guys said uh, why would you want to get a coffee machine with capsules because there is so much waste but these are made of aluminium instead of plastic and Nespresso has a recycling system where they send um, like a little bag or container for you where you just throw in um, the capsules that you've already used and then um, a courier comes for free you just order it to your home and then you give um, a bag full of capsules and they give you a new bag so uh, they recycle the capsules themselves and that's what they do if um, you live in a city where there's no um, Nespresso shop but if there's a Nespresso shop uh, in your city like there is in Vilnius and Panorama you can actually bring the capsules there and give to them so I think that's super cool um, so they have sent me um, these Lunga Profondo capsules um, so four boxes of those and there are five capsules in each box that is so nice so it's like the purple ones and then in here so this one is um, Espresso Ristretto um, again they sent me four boxes of this one and my dad is the biggest espresso drinker so these will definitely be my dad's favorites when he comes over uh, I already have coffee but I don't have the coffee machine yet um, but I will you have the intensity number here so this is intensity 8 and the espresso one is intensity 11 I personally like mild coffee so I will use the 8 one or get even lighter ones um, like I would add a lot of milk to this one so yeah, thank you so much, Lach, which means gold in French. That is so sweet of you. Um, just send me some coffee, because I love my coffee. Um, all right, so I'm gonna shoot some pictures now and then go to do Christmas shopping. And I'll take you guys along. So out of 132 pictures, I've selected 22 that I like. Um, with pictures like with everything it's when you know you know that it's a good shot so these are my favorites um, we found a super nice spot it's actually a Pedela restaurant by the river and it's my friend's Aux's favorite restaurant ever she always goes there to eat when she's back so now I have to edit these pictures and send to the client okay so I'm done editing the pictures and we've got nine of them the final result I'm gonna show you guys so it's actually for a Christmas fair um, that's gonna happen this weekend uh, by the way you should go it's um, gonna happen in Kolnas and Klaipeda this Saturday. All right, I'm finally done with the pictures, heading out uh, to do my Christmas shopping and post uh, what I need to post. I would love to show you guys my apartment to do a little update, but there are so many men working this evening, so I, I just don't wanna film in there while they're working. In an hour or two, I'm supposed to meet a guy who will come, um, is coming from Vilnius uh, to Klaipeda, so he's gonna stop at my apartment to measure the ceiling and, you know, give me a price offer, so I need to meet him. I 
had to do a little break and drop my Christmas shopping and head back to my apartment to meet the guy who uh, came in to measure my ceiling. Um, so he had this palette of uh, the textures that I could choose. Very young guy, under 30 or 30 at max, very professional, very efficient. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised. He measured my ceiling. I chose the finish, so I took matte white with uh, a texture. So hopefully it will look nice. I don't know, look nice in the sample. Signed the contract, paid deposit. So just waiting for my ceiling now. Um, they will come in next week. Um, he said that uh, it might even be done on Christmas Day. So yeah, I'm super happy. One job off the list. Uh, now I can continue my Christmas shopping. This is so hard to resist. Hello guys, I'm back home and I'm gonna show you what food I bought. So let's do a little food haul. So I went to Bio Sala, which is like a bio organic shop and I love it there um, because they have so many interesting healthy um, foods, spices, oils, beauty products, a bunch of stuff basically. Um, things from local farmers and smaller companies, so that's super nice. I know I'll be shopping there quite a lot in the future. Uh, so I got three things from there these three. I mostly go to caffeine to get my coffee. I love their almond milk lattes and I've noticed that they're using Alpro but Alpro for professionals and this was never um, out for sale. I think these are new because you can get um, you know simple Alpro almond coconut any sort of um, milk alternative in supermarkets but these are um, Alpro for professionals so I think they're new and they have coconut one and almond one and this it just has a higher percentage of almonds um, so I'm gonna try it out because um, I love having my granola with almond milk or making um, banana and almond milk smoothies or ice cream. I like to cook my oatmeal with almond milk or coconut milk, I love them both. So I'm actually gonna try it in uh, my coffee as well. So that's the first thing I got. Then I got Clipper, it's actually a really nice tea brand and uh, I got their organic Indian chai tea, warm and spicy, natural, fair, delicious. Um, so what does it have in here? It's um, black tea, cinnamon, orange peel, cloves, fennel seed um, and that's it. And they're all organically grown ingredients. Uh, imported, blended and packed in the UK. So that looks very nice. I might have this tea tonight. And then you guys know I've been on the search for good peanut butter. I got this one in Rimi, which I actually really, really like. It's super delicious and it doesn't have nasty ingredients or tons of additives. It's pretty uh, natural. So I do recommend this one. But Bayona is a brand that I really like as well and you can find it in pretty much any um, organic healthy uh, shop. This is um, organic crunchy peanut butter. Again, it doesn't have any additives, it's just peanuts. It was under three euros, just like this one, which I think is such a good price because Meridian peanut butter is so overpriced and it's disgusting. To me personally, I really don't like Meridian. So I love this one and gonna let you know if this one is good. From Maxima I got a bunch of avocados. They're super soft and ripe. Then I got bread for toasting. This is really nice actually um, just to toast and have uh, poached eggs or avocado or tomatoes on top. So I really really like this one. They're like white um, sort of buns uh, with a bunch of seeds. I got this bread, which is new to me. I believe it is new bread in general. Uh, it's called Lithuanian bread with sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. And it's very similar to Yore bread that I always buy. So I'm gonna give it a try. I got some blue cheese. 
Um, and I also got some spices for making milled wine, uh, which I'm gonna make tomorrow, I think. And then I wanna show you guys something funny. So. Uh, you remember those little ginger shots that I had? So I had the whole box. I only had two or three maybe <laughs> out of the whole box because I made my whole family try them and just gave them away to everyone. And my mom loved them because she loves ginger and my dad loved it so much. He was like, where did you get those ginger shots? I need to buy them. He called me today. Uh, I said, you can get them in pretty much any supermarket. What he decided to do instead is make his own ginger shots. I'm assuming because I came home and this is what I saw in the kitchen. I mean, this is an okay amount of lemon, but who buys? this much ginger like what i think he's not aware how much ginger you actually need to put in ginger shots this is insane but my dad is a maximalist this is a running joke between my mom and i he cannot just buy one or two of something like for example when i go to a grocery shop i just buy you know things for a couple days in advance when my dad goes grocery shopping, his amounts are crazy. And this is, this is so typically my dad. Like he cannot buy one or two of something. Like look at this amount of ginger. I've, I've never seen this <laughs> at home before. Like this is insane. Like this is ginger shots for life. I don't know, this would last for years. He is definitely crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna make myself some dinner. I'm home alone, actually. Everyone is out. Uh, parents are at a Christmas party. Brothers still at work. It's already half past 10 p.m. And definitely not the time to have dinner, but I didn't, I only had breakfast today, which is so bad. That's probably why I get stomach aches. It passed, it, I'm all good and so happy to be fine again and feeling energized and happy and positive again. Um, but it was horrible. First of all, I want to open this box because I got it delivered today. Uh, it definitely feels like Christmas because I'm receiving something every day. I have no idea what's inside and who it is from. Oh, it's actually from Coca Cola. <laughs> this I made Christmas present. Oh, just like with the bread gift box, they encourage to do good deeds. And the hashtag is Be Santa. So my task is to bake some cookies and let my neighbors have some. Actually, that is such a funny coincidence because yesterday I was watching Friends and I watched the episode where Monica baked um, Christmas cookies for her neighbors and basically the whole building came to her door asking for, no, not cookies, chocolates. And they started being angry, banging on her door like, where's the candy where's the candy so this reminds me of that um, yeah actually I will try and do some good deeds this is coca-cola Christmas hat then they sent me some coke um, the original one oh this coca-cola is zero cinnamon I've never tried cinnamon coke uh, this is just cola zero this is a selfie stick, I believe. It is actually in the shape of a cola bottle. I've never owned a selfie stick. Should I have one? I guess that's pretty handy for filming, but I don't know if I would be brave enough to walk around in public with a selfie stick, but either way, thank you Coca-Cola. I will have to give these away to someone and make some cookies. Maybe. Just chopped some veggies, so we have tomatoes, champignons, and uh, broccoli. I'm gonna pop everything in here again. I'm just doing random dinner. Uh, from the ingredients that I have and we'll see what happens. And my penna pasta is cooking nicely. It's almost done. 
I'm gonna add some basil. Let's add some lemon juice. So the vegetables uh, have released their own juice and it just smells incredible. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. So I'm just gonna let that cook for a couple of minutes. Okay, so now that my vegetables have softened, they look so beautiful and colorful. I'm gonna add my pasta. Make sure you drain it really well before. And add some pesto sauce. Okay, let's try some of it. Mm. You can really taste the tomato is quite sour. I think some garlic would be really nice. All right, so this is going to be my dinner. When I'm hungry, I'm always very optimistic. This is a massive plate of pasta. So I'm gonna eat that and watch the first episode of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, the new TV series. Sabrina, the cartoon, used to be my absolute favorite growing up. So I don't know if it's anything like it. Sabrina and her cat, Lee. Exciting. I'm already loving the intro. They would have to choose between two worlds. The witch world of her family and the human world of her friends. How much does she look like Emma Watson as Hermione? That's crazy. I managed to watch only 20 minutes of Sabrina. So far so good, but I got a call that I need to go pick up my parents from their Christmas party. So I thought I would open my calendars with you before I go. All right, day 19. Bomb Jam and Bottom Blaster. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's with clear sage and cedar wood essential oils to leave you feeling renewed. Oh, that smells nice. It's a little lilac heart. Mmm, very woodsy. Love that. Hello, baby. Do you want to smell that? This should smell nice. <laughs> the chocolate one. Day 19. What do we have? What is that? It looks like a Christmas pudding of some sort. <laughs> Where does Quite heavy. So it says, get your hands dirty. Feeling mud, leaves and trees helps connect with nature. Definitely. Oh, okay, so that's another product from the Drops of Youth collection. Youth cream with the three plant stem cells. That's nice, a new moisturizer. Tum tum. Let me smell that. Oh, it smells very aquatic and fresh. Can I believe that? It's only five days to go. This is getting lighter and lighter. I'm gonna go and I will probably see you guys tomorrow. Good night. poached eggs this morning. I added a little bit of salt to my water and now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I just tasted this almond milk that I bought yesterday and my goodness it is delicious. It's very creamy and oh just tastes so good so I'm gonna use it in my coffee this morning. Okay now the the water is boiling what you want to do is make a whirlpool in it and crack the egg. My eggs are in there 
Now I've lowered the heat and I'm gonna let them cook for a few minutes. I have to say I'm very pleased with myself because the eggs turned out perfect. So I just topped my toast with some um, serrano jamon. Um, I'm actually out of salmon and rocket. That would be ideal but I'm just gonna have um, that with the uh, eggs, some dill, salt and pepper on top. Oh, that is perfect. Hi guys and welcome to Vlogmas day 20. Four days until Christmas. Crazy, right? So I just got ready. I'm gonna go out. Um, I need to pick up a parcel. I need to shoot one picture. Um, and then I need to edit Vlogmas and I think I want to do that in a coffee shop just overlooking the street of the city. I finally received my Daisy London necklace that I've been waiting for so long um, and I'm gonna unbox it on camera. It's from a Sailor Lawn's collection and it's her snake chain. It says, oh hello. So it says, Dear Yeva, um, hope this gets there safe. Love, Daisy. Oh, that's so sweet. A handwritten note because the first necklace didn't arrive. They sent it out to me, but it went missing somewhere and probably went back to them, actually. I wasn't notified by the post office that it arrived. So I contacted them and they sent it out to me again and it has finally arrived. And the customer service is so incredible. They respond so quickly. I just texted them on uh, Instagram and they're just so helpful and kind and responsive. So I highly recommend Daisy London Jewelry. I do have the ring from Estee's collection and these hoop earrings that I wear every single day. Um, I sleep and shower in them and they're still perfect. So I do highly recommend them the jewelry so it comes with um, Estee's sort of magazine newspaper this is her collection the photographs are so beautiful and I think she did so well on this collection it's absolutely stunning it's got those vintage uh, retro vibes there is even a horoscope beauty tips and more of her jewelry and it's just very beautiful. I, I believe this is her entire collection. She looks so pretty. I, I'm i so proud of Estee. She's doing so well. I highly support this girl. She's such a girl boss. So it comes with a daisy bag. And then this is a little box where you can actually keep your jewel. Actually, every... I'm so surprised. Every single one arrived packaged differently. So I... Um, they came in these small boxes, but now I have this magnetic box. We have a beautiful pouch, which will be perfect for travel as well. And ta -da -da, the big reveal, that's the beautiful chain. It's so pretty and it has these little stars encrusted in it. Can you guys see the little stars on the chain? And it's definitely gonna be a necklace that I will wear daily. Um, it is very retro. It's kind of something that my grandmother would have worn um, back in the day. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. So I'm layering it with my Anya High necklace and this one. Finally, he's here. I can layer a ton of necklaces with all my rings. Very, very happy with it. So I think it's time to open my advent calendars. Oh, before that, I actually wanted to mention I found an alternative to my Yves Saint Laurent cream bronzer, which was limited edition and I cannot find it anymore. So what I've been using recently is my NARS um, bronzer, cream bronzer. The shade is called Vientiane. And it's just a matte cream bronzer, so I don't apply it like that because it would be too intense. But I take a stippling brush like this, I do this like very lightly, like feathery strokes, then uh, on the back of my hand to take off the excess. And then I just apply it on my nose, my cheeks, my temples, my chin, just where um, the sun would naturally hit me to give my uh, skin a little bit of color and dimension. I highly recommend this one. Day 
20. Um, Technicolor Dream Soap, Patchouli and Sandalwood Essential Oils. Oh, that's beautiful, but it smells kind of fruity. I don't smell the sandalwood at all. Or patchouli. It's actually very, it kind of smells like clementines. Very citrusy. The chocolate one. Um, we have a horseshoe. Oh, I miss horse riding. Talking about horses, yesterday I watched Vogue's 73 questions with Bella Hadid. It was filmed in the stables with horses and Bella looked incredible. Horses looked incredible. I was like, this has to be my favorite one. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, it's a small one today. It says, salute the sun. Dedicate 10 minutes of your morning to an energy and mood boosting yoga routine. Yes! 100% agree with that Yoga is so important to me. By the way yesterday I went to pick up my parents from a Christmas party and my dad There were lots of games and contests. So my dad went dancing and he danced so hard that he actually pulled his leg muscle So today he's staying at home off work how crazy is that? I, I said, how, how did you dance to pull a muscle? But I understand that it's not about how hard you dance. It's just like one move and you can pull a muscle. But that's why I think yoga is so important because you just stretch your muscles, you move your body. So, you know, your body doesn't get stiff and you have a good balance, you have flexibility and everything. I, I just think yoga is very important. So. I said, Dad, you need to do yoga. He he works out a lot, that's the thing, but he said, I don't work out my legs. <laughs> so, what do we have here? Matte lip liquid in a dark red color. This is very Christmassy. 016. So, oh, that is very, very Christmassy. I actually want my nails in this color, and I need to do my nails already. Um, they are way too long. They grow so fast. That's crazy. And I want a, like a dark red color. So I'm gonna text my nail technician to see if she is available. Not sure about that because it's just before um, Christmas. Might be a busy period. Louis is staring right at me. Here he is. He's blending in with me like always. <laughs> My color palette is pretty much what Louis looks like all the time, right? Look at the way I'm dressed today and look at Louis. <laughs> We're so matchy. I love you, baby. I love you. So I'm gonna show you my outfit now that we're talking about it. I didn't know what to wear today, so I just threw on a random outfit. My Current favorite leggings uh, from Zara. This is a super old, just a simple, basic um, top. It was from either Zara or Mango. I mean, you can find basics like that anywhere. And I didn't tuck it in this time and just let it loose. And this is a super warm mohair wool um, cardigan. It's actually from H&M Studio. And I love it because it keeps you insanely warm. Like it's super warm, it's natural fabric. It is a little bit itchy, that's why I have this top underneath. But yeah, it's so, so warm. And I love the fact that it is irregular. Like this is brown, this is gray, and then the sleeves are different as well. So it just adds a little bit of interest to it and it's slightly shorter. And I will wear my docks, my Zara coat, and my x Naila bag, which is back there. So guys, I'm gonna go and I will take you along with me. So there's a new restaurant, definitely wanna try it out. Would you look where I came? I came to Ikea because I need to get parts for my bathroom and my kitchen sinks. But now I'm gonna call to the guy who did my kitchen and uh, cause they have finished it and I would just send the final price so I need to thank him for my extremely beautiful kitchen I just need to tell him how pleased I am with the result and how 
you know, efficient everything was. In Ikea, I just ordered a siphon for my kitchen sink and then I went to a shop called Yisk where I bought myself a laundry basket, a really nice laundry basket which I'm gonna show you a little bit later. Now came to Acropolis yet again to finish buying Christmas presents and I also need to buy wrapping paper because I don't think I will be doing any more Christmas shopping so I need to have everything. Back home and this is what happens to my hair in winter. Like when I wear a scarf, jumpers and coats, my hair just becomes this bird's nest. This is the laundry basket I told you I got from Yisk and the things on the top are vintage finds that I got today. Okay, so now you can get a better look at my laundry basket. I just really like it, I love the shape of it. Um, it has a lid that you can pop on, so. This is the wrapping paper that I got for this year. So I pretty much always use gold. These are like my classic wrapping papers that I get every year, the exact same ones. Um, but this year I also got this white one with gold snowflakes. And I also got this one because I wanted to get like a 90s looking one, the sort of wrapping paper that I grew up with and it has Santa's on it. It's just beautiful. It's like a winter scene. So yeah, that's my wrapping paper. And I was also sent an annual gift by Loving Tan, which is my fake tan brand that I always, always use. And every holiday they send a present. They send a box with um, fake tan and then like a onesie or, you know, always something cute. So it says, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Loving Tan. I think this is a Christmassy PJ. It's saying, slaying it. They're so nice. That would be so perfect for just lounging around the house or to wear on a Christmas morning. Thank you so much, Loving Tan. So this is my favorite one. That's what I always use, Loving Tan 2 Hour Express in dark. And I actually need to apply some of it because I'm so pale at the moment. Definitely need a tan. And then this is bronze shimmer um, luminous cream, like a wash off tan, and then an applicator mitt and some candy cane. Today I went to Humana, I wasn't planning it at all. I was just passing by and I saw some nice looking jackets in the window and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go in, see what they have, and I ended up buying three things. I got this kind of vintage looking, um, green leather jacket. It is so soft, like buttery soft leather. It's uh, It's got gold lining on the inside. I actually love it. I thought it would be so nice for spring with like high-waisted mom jeans or like some tailored trousers and sneakers. Um, let me show you the color here. You can see the color here a lot better. It's this super beautiful pistachio color and I basically bought it for the color because yeah, I, I absolutely love this color and I think it's so nice for spring or autumn and it's actually super simple kind of, you know, minimal structured leather jacket. Then a second leather piece. I actually really wanted to own a leather coat. I was looking online, but they're so expensive. They're like hundreds of euros. And then I spotted this one again, super soft, well-loved um, kind of buttery leather. Just belt it like that, like a trench coat. This is what it looks like. Imagine it with like a turtleneck and knee-high boots or just some super cool leather boots. I love it so, so much. I love that it's brown. Again, it looks vintage and it's got pockets even. I've seen Scandi and Dutch girls uh, that I follow on Instagram style leather coat so nicely. Just toning it down, like pairing it with denim and like ugly sneakers for every day. And I think this would work with my dogs really nicely. And the third thing that I got is this incredible big turtleneck jumper. It's sort of a jumper dress and it was in men's section. 
and it's 100% wool so it's a little itchy and it has these little like specks. I also really like uh, how the sleeves are wide. This is such an amazing jumper. I love orange, it's one of my favorite colors. But I would wear something like this underneath because it is um, quite itchy. It's like so, so warm for winter. Um, so yeah, just with like jeans or leggings like these. I think it looks super nice. That's definitely my style. Orange and brown work so well together. So yeah, that's everything I got in Humana today. I went to the one close to Parisios Comunas Gata. So um, not too far from Acropolis. My mom used a broccoli that I didn't finish and she made risotto, which is one of my favorite dishes. So I'm gonna Go have that and edit this vlogmas and then I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 21. So have a good night. Bye. Sad.